The question is, what do you say to those guys who are complaining about dating these days, about girls only want free dinners and stuff like that? Um, it's true. If you if you believe that, it's true. The honest truth is, is whatever you believe is true. The mind is this amazing supercomputer in it, and it has a reticular activating system that has the ability to sort through shit tons of data and make something true. It has the ability to, if you really believe something, it's going to see it in the world all the time. The same as if you think about buying a certain type of car and suddenly you start seeing it everywhere. You think, oh, why, why am I suddenly seeing this car everywhere? Well, it's always there. Your mind's sorting it out most of the time. So if you believe in the idea of gold diggers and manipulators and you're vibrating at that energy, what you start doing is vibrating at the energy of, of protecting yourself and trying to get from women. I can, I'm going to get, I'm going to make sure you don't manipulate me and I'm going to control you and I'm going to control the situation. And then what happens is they feel that. And, and you start to draw, literally, your articulating activating system starts to draw literally those women. The way it works is you draw who you're being, not what you want. You can want all day long. You can want till you're blue in the face. You will draw who you're being. If you're, if you're trying to control and manipulate the situation, you're going to get women that control and manipulate it. If you're needy, you're going to get women that are needy overall, or a woman that's going to manipulate your neediness. And so something like that will happen in the end. If you start to become truly, and I don't think most people understand how to do this, to be honest. I think it's a rare individual that understands truly how to be giving. I think most people are giving with a covert contract, that they want to get something in return. A real masculine person or confident person, doesn't have to be masculine, that knows how to be giving, doesn't have a covert contract going. And they don't waste their time. They, they have no trouble setting boundaries, they have no trouble saying no, but they're open all the time. They listen, they feel, and they can quickly sort out manipulators and they will draw the women that are giving and nurturing to them. They'll cut the rest out. They'll live in a pool of that energy of really giving people. Matter of fact, their friends will start to all become giving good people. They'll draw women like that. Think about it. If you're, if you look at people that are really poor, they hang out with poor people most of the time. You look at people that are in the middle class, they hang out with people that are middle class a lot. And they think that's the actual view of life. If you are an angry person, you tend to have angry people around you or people that you can express that anger at that want to be abused. So it's either a match or in the sense it's the same type of person or somebody that feeds that energy, one of the two. And you end up with one or the other. A uh, codependent manipulator gets a codependent, uh, well, it's called an extroverted narcissist, gets an inverted narcissist. The manipulator gets somebody to pick on and they draw each other all the time. So who you're being is what you get. If you think that's the world, look at yourself, man. Look at who you're being deep down inside. Change who you're being and as you begin to become more, and I'm not going to say loving, I'll, I'll say loving in the end, but more confident. Courageous people are loving. Confident people are loving. People who are insecure do a fake loving and get manipulated. They walk around and they and they go, oh, I love you so much, I care so much, oh, be nice, be nice, that's a bunch of bullshit. Real people that are loving are really honest and real and have boundaries and they care about you, that's why they have boundaries. They say no, that's why they have boundaries. And unfortunately, people don't realize that. They think, they think of the new age hippy dippy loving and that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, you know, if I, if I end it with you, I'm not going to close my heart. If I'm mad at you, I'm not going to close my heart. I'm going to still love you. If you're mad at me, I expect you to do the same. That's a different level of relationship. And that's what David Data calls the third stage man. Uh, getting to this third stage where you can stay open and in your full breath of feeling and emotion. Uh, and you can go through all kinds of transmutation and, and growth together. You can evolve together and not wall off on each other. So. Um, Hopefully that, that hopefully that comes across really really well. Does it you get that point? Yeah. Yeah, awesome.